Hi, I'm Maria Lang, a solutions architect for LOSAN. All of the devices and data in the world don't mean anything unless you can deliver something valuable to your users. But implementing user authentication, actually building the user interface, integrating that interface with your data, and then hosting it all somewhere is not an easy task. That's where LOSAN's end user experiences come in. Throughout this video, I will be working off of the LOSAN Industrial Equipment Monitoring Application Template, which can be found in the LOSAN Application Template Library. So let's dive in. What you see in front of you is the overview page for this application's user experience. It gives general information surrounding the use of this experience. Now, LOSAN is designed to deliver or publish some kind of connected solution to your users, and our experience functionality provides a lot of tools to do that. They can be found on the left-hand side underneath the experience header. Well, now we talked about overview, but let's jump into edit because this is where the bulk of the work is done. Here, we are going to build and maintain our endpoints, workflows, pages, layouts, and components that are it's really the bulk of your experience. We have our users and groups, which is where you're going to designate which users can see what data, and it's also where you're going to build your multi-tenancy. Files is a great place to upload, say, your company logo so that it can be used in the experience to really create that custom branded feel. In domains and slugs, this you can drop in custom domains or custom slugs that you want used so that your user doesn't even know that LOSAN exists, that it's really your experience. Versioning is where you can continue. It's a tool that for your developers so that they can continue to improve your experience without interrupting your users while they're using it. Let's check out a couple of examples. So in front of you, you're seeing our partner Verizon's CBM demo. That is a conditions-based maintenance, and this is all simulated data for hypothetical clients. If I were to click into, say, SN Foods, you can see there are two locations here on the MapQuest map. And then you can also see their system availability and their downtime. If I wanted to click in further, I could do that. But I'd really like to draw attention that this doesn't feel like Glosant. This is a this is has the Verizon branding and it's all custom content. If I jump into the user experience for our industrial equipment monitoring application that we're working in, you can see the teal color, so the custom interface again, but then we've also got our device panel over here on the left and just our general overview page here in front of you. Now what I did was actually utilize the LOSANT template library. This is different than your application template library. Here in the template library, you can pick and choose certain templates that we've created for you and drop them directly into your experience. So what I've done is I've grabbed this basic input form template and I've dropped it into my application and it did a bulk of the work for me so that I could build a preventative maintenance form. Jumping back into my experience pages, let's dive into this preventative maintenance page. So each experience starts with endpoints and endpoints are the routes that the API or browser will request in this, and in this example, we have two. We have our get endpoint, which is what is utilized to populate 
the original page, and then we have our post, which is what is going to be hit once we hit the submit button on our form. Once we have our endpoints created, we then go on to our pages. And here we have our basic form page. Now there's two types of pages that can be used in your experience. One is custom, which allows you to completely code out and build your custom page, which is what I've done here. Or you can select dashboard. So let's check out the difference. If I come back to my overview screen and I click into one of my devices, what you see in front of you is a page that is powered by a dashboard. So this is an embedded dashboard that we have already built in the back end of LOSAN. Customers do this because it allows you to get your information in front of your users quickly, but it's also showing that information wrapped inside of the interface and it also requires authentication. So only the people who are signed in, have the ability to sign in, can see the data, and it's, they're only gonna be able to see the data that you have allowed them to see using the authentication. Now the maintenance page that we are, ha I have created and that we're gonna look at, this is a custom page, it clearly is all custom HTML. And what it is is that it's a basic form that once you submit, saves that data to a data table in the back end of LOSANT. So if I jump over, jump into my back end, I can see this maintenance table here. So all the data is stored here, and we've got our description, our maintenance interval, if there's a ticket open, if so, what's that number, and then the devices that's associated with and then RCBA or current best approach to perform that maintenance. So now that I am on this page, I'm going to fill it out really quick. So we're going to change oil. Maintenance interval is going to be every month and we're going to do that for this device. I'm not going to select, oh, let's select a current ticket will be opened, ticket number one, and the CBA we're going to select is 0.2. Once I submit this, we can scroll down and see that input value right here. So it refreshed the page, that information has been updated. Going back into the back end, if I go into my post, so these are the workflows. I have my get workflow, which populates the page, but then I have my post. And we're going to dive into the post a little bit deeper. So here's my endpoint node. Then I'm going to get my devices. I'm going to, once I have my data in my devices, I'm then going to manipulate that data. Insert a row into, that, into my maintenance data table. And then I'm going to go ahead and get all of the rows out of my maintenance and or maintenance data table, so that I can then repopulate the data ta the table on my experience page. So if I scroll over my debug panel on the right, you can see the path the data took. It sends that data back out through an endpoint reply node, and we're going to send all the information from our payload working path back to our basic form page. Now that concludes the extent of the experience demo that I'm giving you today, but I would just like to reiterate that LOSAN's end user experiences allow developers to build custom branded user interfaces multi-tenant applications and APIs to increase the value of your IoT application and brand engagement. If you would like to learn more, I would re recommend looking into LOSANT University, which provides a deeper dive into what I covered. You can also explore our documentation and forums. If you'd like to jump in and start working in LOSANT today, you can do that by creating a Sandbox account.